In the previous video, we found out that to find the phi growth between two ticks, I lower and I upper, we can use this equation. The current phi growth minus FB minus FA, where FB tracks the length of these red rectangles below tick lower, and FA tracks the length of these red rectangles above tick upper. In this video, we will look at some simple examples that will give us an idea of how to track FB. Okay, so let's start with some definitions and a simple example to find FB. We will define f of gt to equal phi growth at time t for token y. And FB, we will define this to be phi growth below tick i for token y. So here's a simple example, and we want to find what FB is. So let's take a look at this example. The phi growth starts from 0. And let's say at some time t equals 0, the phi growth crosses over some tick i. At this point, the height of this phi growth, we'll label it f of g of 0. And after it crosses over, it keeps increasing, and let's say that the current phi growth is equal to fg. So in this case, what would be the value of fb? Again, let's go back to the definition of fb. We said that this is equal to the phi growth below tick i for token y. Here's tick i. And what is the phi growth below this tick i? Well, here I've highlighted the phi growth below tick i. So the phi growth below tick i will be the height of this red rectangle. In this case, since the tick crossed at f of g of 0, fb will be equal to f of g of 0. This is the height at which the phi growth crossed over tick i. Let's look at another example. Let's say that after time t equals 0, where the phi growth crossed over tick i, after some time later, it crossed back below tick i. The phi growth at the time that it went below tick i, we'll label this f of g 1. And let's say that the current phi growth is somewhere over here. I label this as f g. And again, let's ask the question, what is phi growth below tick i? f b, what would this be equal to? Well, previously, we said that f b is equal to f of g 0. f of g 0 is the height of this red rectangle. Okay, so this is the previous phi growth. In red, I've highlighted the part of phi growth below tick i since it crossed below at f of g1. So the previous phi growth below was the height of this rectangle. The new phi growth below tick i will be the height of this rectangle plus the height of this rectangle. The height of the previous rectangle is this, which is equal to f of g0. And to this, we need to add the height of this rectangle. So what is the height of this rectangle? Well, we know that the starting position of this rectangle is f of g of 1, and the current phi growth is f of g. So if we do f of g minus f of g 1, we get this height of this small rectangle. So to get the current phi growth below tick i, f of b, to the previous phi growth below, f of g 0, we add this new height over here, which will be f of g minus f of g of 1. Okay, let's say that some time has passed, and the current phi growth has crossed above tick i. The phi growth when it crossed tick i, we'll label this as f of g of 2. And our current phi growth will be somewhere over here. Okay, and let's ask the question again. What is f of b? Well, previously f of b was equal to this equation, which I've copied over here. To find the phi growth below, what we need to do is add up the height of these red rectangles. The first one is easy. We know that this one is equal to f of g0. So how about this one? How did it change from the previous example? In the previous example, we said that the height of this is f of g minus f of g of 1. But how about now? What would this height be? Well, we know that the starting height is f of g of 1, and the ending height is f of g of 2. So the height of this rectangle will be equal to f of g of 2 minus f of g of 1. This is the height of this rectangle. And this is the phi growth below tick i when the current phi growth f of g is above tick i. Okay, let's look at two more examples. Previously, we had the phi growth above tick i. And let's say that some time has passed and the phi growth crossed below tick i. And our current phi growth, which you see over here, is below tick i. The point at which phi growth crossed below tick i, we'll label this height as f of g of 3. Okay, so again, let's ask the question, how has phi growth below tick i, how has it changed? Well, to this equation, we'll highlight the part of phi growth that is below tick i in a red rectangle, measure the height, and then add the height to here. 
So here's the rectangle that represents phi growth below tekai. And what is the height of this rectangle? Well, the height of this rectangle is fg minus f of g of 3. So to this equation, we add this height, which is equal to fg minus f of g of 3. Okay, last example, let's say that the phi growth crossed above tekai again. So the current phi growth will be over here. Let's say that the height of phi growth when it last crossed above tekai, let's label this as f of g of 4. So again, let's ask the question, what is fb? What is the phi growth below tekai? Again, what we're doing is highlighting the parts of phi growth that is below tekai, which you see over here, and then adding up the height of these red rectangles. Previously, in this example, the phi growth below was this equation. What do we need to do to this equation to get the current phi growth below? Well, we know from the previous example that the height of this vast red rectangle was fg minus f of g of 3, which we see over here. So how do we need to update this to match the current phi growth below? Well, let's take a look at this red rectangle. The height of this red rectangle is f of g of 4 minus f of g of 3. So all we need to do to update this equation is to update this term. Change f of g to f of g of 4 minus f of g of 3. This is the height of this red rectangle. And this is the equation for the phi growth below tick i when the current phi growth f of g is above the tick i. All we did to get this equation is we assumed that phi growth started below the current tick i, and then every time it crossed over, we calculate the height of this red rectangle and then add it to f of b.